know how people like to like <laughs> you know how people like to like address guy like formally and like God, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm confused. No, I'm very much like, why would you do that? Is this funny? <laughs>
things that I have known about myself for a long time you know what I'm saying but they used to be way more like prevalent in my life and something that I really honed in on and focused on and that was like more like high school like adolescence those types of times where you're like growing and learning as you go and like you know things change a lot faster every year like so it's just something that I used to be more aware of but like becoming an adult and coming into your own things become a little repetitive you know and you start to identify with like your titles um jobs you've held people you know places you've been and now with social media even more so like you know your social media persona so um i say all that to say i've kind of been reading myself during this time but i mean to answer your questions you know where have i been i've been a lot of places let's say that because it's been a journey like my mind and my feelings and my thoughts have been in multiple states in multiple emotions in multiple places in the last few months my last video was a how-to video and it was like lightening you know your jeans from a walk that not so much what you want to like that or watch so i have a lot of videos and i'm not mistaken that was april my birthday month went on my birthday trip and that was to la and it was everything um yeah there were bumps and there was like the devil was busy around my birthday my phone cracked um something else happened on the trip and oh like reservations was falling through and then mid trip my camera cracks and i can't really see so i'm just like stop vlogging like it just really killed my momentum like that killed my momentum and then it took two months to get my camera fixed so that did it in even more so right um but yeah so that's kind of like where that happened but this whole year though like has been really testing and i knew that it was like you can ask my friends 
as I was embarking on this journey that I was going on, which basically, you know, I'm saying all these words just not to say it. Like, I left my job in February um, because I really was unhappy with um, my progress. I felt like there was no plan for me. I felt like a professional gap filler to sum it all up. And being who I am and like raised the way that I am with a lot of confidence and like, like, we are like, like self assurance that I'm going to be somebody and make, you know, strides and, you know, touch a lot of people and like reach a lot of people. Like, at least that's how I see myself. That was not working out for me, you know? And at the time, I was really, really, really like, like, oh my God, like, I just want to like step out on faith and really push my businesses, like push YouTube, push um, my picnics, and um, just things that just like become more, like tap into that entrepreneurial side that always is put to the back burner because of my job and like timing and everything but you know it came it also was a marriage between me being unhappy because honestly y'all like i'm not i'm not that kind of person like it was really hard for me to step away like i don't just give up on things like that's not easy for me to do i see things through typically like i roll with the punches like you know what I'm saying? Especially how that job came about. I was so blessed for it. It carried me through the pandemic. I never had a worry, you know, and I had it right out of college. Like, they found me. I graduated on Friday. I started that job on a Monday. Like, there was no break. But that brings me to my other point. I've never had a break since stepping foot on my university campus. I've been hustling. And so, God really blessed me from that. And I appreciate it and I wrote it out, but it got to a point where I was crying. Like, I don't like this job. Like, I don't like where I am. And, you know, hindsight is twenty twenty, baby, but I'm not, I don't regret that decision. The thing about it is, though, I would have prepared better, right? But the thing is, it became a matter of timeliness because around that time, my sister-in-law was going back to work and like starting a new job that would consist of going into work sometimes of the week like a hybrid situation and she was realizing like my niece is getting older and she's not cool with just sitting in this little swing watching it work like when she was a little bitty baby she could do it she could tend to her you know what i'm saying but she was getting older and she wanted to you know be engaged talk to touch play with more regularly so at that time i was like oh this is a win-win like you asked me to, like you can help me leave my job and you go me to wash my knees let's do it so that's what i've been doing since february obviously i've been job searching because that was part of it like in the interim i will do this as i look for something and the intention there was i'm going to look for something way more along my interest because okay rewind i was on my entrepreneurial tip right but i didn't prepare so and you know this is letting y'all inside a little bit i personally feel like you know i did what i i did just just fine you know what i'm saying like college is really hard for me in a lot of ways y'all like not the school part but everything else with it and i just wanted to live like i make money now i can take care of myself my friends were adventurous, so we travel. I I did those types of things. I bought myself things. Like I really just kind of like poured into myself those years. And no, I was not thinking about saving like that. I was not doing a lot of that. I was not paying off credit card debts like that. Like here and there, yeah. But that wasn't the intention. That wasn't like if we be in a book, okay? Uh, I'm 22, 23, living life. You know what I'm saying? First, first official job, and I deserved it. You know what I'm saying? I deserved that fun. I deserved all of that. So I lived my life, and but with that, I didn't really prepare for this takeaway, right? So you know, I got a budding multi, I got a budding YouTube channel, and 
and it takes money to make content the content that i like to make it takes money to do that so a lot of those entrepreneurial things started to like it was like oh this is gonna be difficult because i'm taking a when i say a major vega i'm taking a major vega okay major but at the time it's for the peace of mind and to have a break like i've never had a break so yeah but that was like one of the first shifts it was like okay this entrepreneurial stuff like i could do it y'all but i really do struggle with like how to do do what i do what i can with what i have I could do it when I had my job. Cause like, I used to feel like I don't have my own apartment to have the right aesthetics, to do this, to do that, to really chop it up with y'all because I share a space, all those things. But I used to do it, you know? But at that moment, I just really didn't know how am I gonna do this? Like, I am working with a limited amount of funds. I still have some on the back burner bills as far as like my credit card stuff, but there's things that need to be tended to. So, Making what I'm making, it really became difficult. And like, I would plan for things, but then thing, other things come up, or I wanna be there for somebody, or a birthday, or I wanna go see my boyfriend, that's gas, like, just little stuff, and I'm not making much, so it's hard to budget for content. So that quickly became like, okay, and then like with the picnics, bookings aren't coming like that, like, my picnic idea is not is no longer a solution to something because the world is opening back up. We're doing things that we've always done again, you know? So this has become a luxury. I'm sweating. I hope y'all don't see that on camera like that. But yeah, I'm, uh, it's not like everything, you know, like, you know how God is when you make a plan, he laughs, ha. But remember y'all like, I talked to God about this move and I knew it was gonna be challenging. I knew it was, cause I'm just like, I don't know what's gonna come from this. But I know like I wanna make this move and I wanna better myself and everything like that. So that stuff wasn't really moving. I was making YouTube videos here and there, but it was difficult because I'm working with a, a, you know, a very limited budget. Um, so that, I was doing it, but I was kind of slowed down, whatever. And then, okay, boom, my camera break. All right, so now we're not even making content. My camera said, girl, you're talking way too long. We need a break. <laughs> we need a break. It didn't die, but like, it stopped recording. I decided to put on some little background music, but hopefully it's not too loud. We caught break, I ain't got some bad. I'm just trying to chop, chop it up with my gang and you know let them know where I've been and like what's to come and who I am you know what I'm saying like, I ain't got time for all that don't just vibe out okay so what was I saying child what I'm trying to tell you is oh I was being present child being present and that's honestly still the case now my glass is falling up it's hot in here y'all I ain't lying to you like my glass is I'm drinking this. Uh, giggle juice. Like, whoa. I got the fan on, but it ain't fanning. <sighs> okay. So, yeah. Working on being present. Okay, because this is going to bring me to something. So, I like to refer to me and my dad's relationship as like Olivia and Eli Pope. If you've ever seen the show Scandal, you know what I'm talking about. Eli reads the out of Olivia when it's time like and most of the time it's all the time because they never see an eye I know more than you could possibly imagine about things of which you cannot dream he told you that you would be first lady and you believed him did I not raise you for better how many times have I told you you have to be what you have to be what? Twice. What? Twice as good. Twice as good as them to get half what they Now that's not the case with me and my dad. We actually really beat off each other. He's a Virgo. Me and Virgo, Taurus Virgo is a connection, okay? And we definitely have that on the mental, mental level. So like when I'm dealing with things, 
or dealing with like thoughts or ideas anything like that like i go to my dad so you know he really called me out because he's just like yeah i i really hate to see you so hard on yourself and i'm like like so the person i am <laughs> The kind of person I am, girl, I'm Little Miss. When is your birthday? Because I want to know what sign you are. Um, I'm not Miss what time was you born. I only ask my family that. Okay. But I am. When is your birthday? <laughs> so I don't care what no one says. Honestly, though, like, I get it. Only identify with things that resonate with you because I kind of got, like, a little hung up on like zodiac a little bit because i'm just like i started to identify with it so much and some of the things i really didn't resonate with but i now know like take what you resonate with and leave what you don't you know because there's so many other factors that feed into who you are but on a general tip that should be right i'm telling you i'm not playing like i've been studying the different signs since like middle school and there's people that can vouch for me which is gonna bring me to like my like thoughts and ideas on like moving forward with my channel like i'm not trying to pivot too much y'all but i got some ideas i don't know how to execute them but i know like some of how i want to show up but we're going to talk about that so let's get back to the things my dad had read me for phil just based just because he cared about me right like so he my dad really picks up on like when I'm having good days and when I'm having bad days. And he just says like, I just really hate to see you be so hard on yourself. And this is why I got into the Zodiac. I'm, I'm a Taurus sun, Capricorn moon, and I'm a Cancer rising. Girl, I mean, I'm crying. I'm crying when I'm overwhelmed, when I'm anxious. I'm crying about where where I am and what I'm not. I'm crying when my feelings are hurt. Crying is my response. I'm crying when I'm mad. That's typically it. Like the tears come when I'm mad. I'm a Taurus. So it take a lot to build up, right? So my dad just sees me crying. It's like dude. I've been feeling away. Like, I've been feeling away. You just seeing the blow up. And I'm a cancer rising, so my reaction is emotion. Like, I'm a cry. Then my Capricorn moon, I'm hard as hell on myself. I'm very critical. Like, it's gotten better, but I mean, there's always that little thought in my head like, man, we're supposed to be here with it. We're supposed to be here with it. Like, we're supposed to be here with it. Like, it's always there and like your moon is who you are when no one's around so that's the battle that's going on up here a lot it's very internal i'm not a very external person like i'm not coming to people at every at every feeling to like hash out my feelings like no it's going on in my head which is not good y'all it's not good um and that's why it ends up in tears because i done built it up and there's so much conflict going on internally, the reaction is crying. <laughs> That's me in a nutshell. So he just like called me out about being so critical on myself. And I'm just like, you know, we're just having a conversation or whatever. But what I got out of the conversation was, like he really was just like, I just like you need to be present. Like learn how to be present. Learn to trust the universe. And that's when I started to really tap into and read me of someone and some of the things that I always kind of had in me. Again, I got comfortable. Like I found solace in being present. I'm like, I am doing God's work right now. I am help raising my needs. I am getting a break from the rat race. You know what I'm saying? Like, but that Capricorn moon is like, even my Taurus. Like, my Taurus, my Taurus son. Like, I got needs and I got wants and I got dreams. 
So it's just like lingering, like, you know, you're not showing up on YouTube because you can't. That's pissing me off. Like, I literally can't. But I'm not showing up on YouTube. That's lingering over me because like, I feel like that's my purpose. That's one of my like avenues towards my purpose. And I'm not doing it. Time's passing me. I'm missing my window. Like, those are the emotions, right? So, but that message resonated with me because I'm like, I've never been that person. I'm always looking to what's next. You know, what's next? What else am I going to accomplish? I'm always in this accomplish, accomplish, accomplish. It does something for me. But right now, it's like the universe, I'm trying to learn how to be present. So, I took that with me. And I've been doing a good job, y'all. Like, I've been just trying to vibrate high and stay positive and remember that. Like, just be present. Because when you get out of that presence, that's where anxiety lives and doubt and self-esteem issues and confidence and everything can be, you know, fragile and vulnerable. For me anyways, because of my personality, right? So, I just been doing a good job of that, like, being present. But, you know, still doing what I gotta do, y'all. I'm applying to jobs left and right. I'm getting interviews, y'all. So, here comes the next layer. I'm learning how to be present. I'm learning how to be patient. That was another thing. Presence and patience. Know that God, while I'm, work, while I'm waiting, God is working. But y'all, that's been a mantra I've been telling myself for years. For other reasons. Like within my relationship. And within like getting my own place. And within making more money. And being in a position to get myself a place. And get myself a new car. Like... That was, those are the feelings I was feeling when I was making money. Like, so that's times two. While I'm not making that cash no more, it's just a lot, okay? To stay confident and stay faithful, faithful, have, having faith and hope. There's been a lot of times where that has been lost. And like I said, y'all, I knew at the start of this that this was going to be challenging, especially for my personality. I have control issues, like, and they're not severe, and they're not with others necessarily. Well, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I get told I'm a little bossy because I'm trying to control the situation. You know what I'm saying? Like, but not even control the situation, but help you control your outcome. But that's another story. Um, but yeah, like, you can, I hope you can understand how difficult some of this can be for my personality, right? So, I learned how to just be present and patient. Um, what was I saying? I don't know. Nah. And you know what I've been noticing? That starts to happen when I start to drink. Like, I was drinking one time, like just a little Moscato, and the amount of words that came out of my mouth wrong, it was comical. So, this is a whole bottle of Moscato. Well, not this glass, but the juice, the, um, the concoction I made is a whole bottle of Moscato. I was supposed to get sparkling Moscato. I didn't really know that. I thought it was just like Moscato. So I just got regular Moscato. So it's not as sparkly and fizzy as it's supposed to be. But it's still really good. Um, and then I have lemon vodka in it. And then it's just um, lemonade. Y'all saw what I'm telling you. I don't know what I was saying. But I know I was just telling y'all I've just been learning to be patient and present. I was just talking about how that can be difficult at times because there's so many other things lingering in the back burner but it's just been really testing my faith you know and then another tier I'm telling you I'm doing a lot so another tier is okay I'm being I'm being present I'm being patient I'm doing the work that I need to do which is applying to jobs when I have the time um, not necessarily putting any work on my personal brand, you know, or my picnics. Because, like, I only have so much time these days because caring for a child, there is no downtime. 
and I'm doing it for eight hours and sometimes longer. Only three days of the week though. But like on Mondays and Fridays, my off day, that's why I say I lost my passion as well. Because again, it goes back to my resources. Okay, I have these days, but I ain't got no money. What I'm doing? Like, what am I doing? I'm not doing anything. At the most, I have a couple dollars to go see my friends, to reset myself, to recharge, have an outlet. That's the extent of it, y'all. So it's just been like this karm, like, I don't want to call it a karmic cycle because I don't really know the definition of a karmic cycle. It just sounds good to call it a karmic cycle, but I don't want to put that on that if that's not what it is. So it's just been this cycle of me bringing myself back down, not to overreact, not to have anxiety about it, and then being reminded of all of the things, and then bringing myself back down. It's really been a roller coaster. So yeah, the job search. Shitty. I thought I had one in the bag. I thought I had one in the bag. I thought it was God giving. I thought it was okay. Here comes my aligned position. Here comes what I've been waiting on. Literally, I applied for this this job, right? And it was for a thrift store. Um, I did it because I just did it. It was a title that I know, like I don't really know too much about, but it's a thrift store. Like you know, they usually be open to people with transferable skills i'm just like i'm gonna shoot my shot so i did and i got a call back i'm like all right so i go in i'm like i know i don't know much but hey we're gonna be in fashion in some ways thrifting so because that's what i'm saying like i'm into clothing i'm into e-commerce like i want to be working with in, in industries like that as far as a marketer as far as a social media marketer so I'm like, all right, this is a step into that. So I get a call back, and so I'm going to the interview. I go to the interview. The interview goes well. Child, in the interview, they realize and they recognize my skill set. It's not necessarily fit for the position, but they got an opening for another one. That is my skill set for another one of their businesses, which is an elevated thrift store. Baby, when I say like fashion, I'm talking about fashion like Zara, J. Crew, like like labels you know what i'm saying i went they told me check out the store you know what i'm saying check out the store take some notes let us know what you see like really bigging me up and really like talking about talking about it and the fact that it wasn't even an advertised position made me feel like okay they let me in on something that no one really knows and they mentioned at the interview that i came to for something else i'm like oh this is god this is nothing but god this is mine it's me. Girl, I go to the store. I buy two little things. I done checked it out. They told me to check it out. Like, they talking to me like, go see what you about to be working with. They talking about you will own and conduct photo shoots. You already know I'm trying to be a creative director. Like, everything I want. The follow up was that, okay, I think that was the weekend of... 4th of July, so Monday was the holiday, if I'm not mistaken. Anyways, I, um, I follow up. I ain't hearing nothing, so I, I emailed the HR to see if she could get in touch with the, with the CEO I, I met with to talk to me, because he said, by Monday, I'm going to hit you. Girl, his response is, First of all, I didn't even know y'all were interviewing other people. Because this position is not advertised. If it was, I would have applied to that position and bumped that other thing. And then proceeded to say in the next paragraph, oh, we feel that position you apply for too. Like, y'all, I'm a very confident person, especially in what I can do. Like, if you know my family, if you know my dad, confidence is bred into you from the moment you get out of this, get out of that thing, 
and you come into his presence, okay? You are a Williams, you are this, you are that. Like, total affirmation over your entire life. So when I say, like, what I see for myself is bigger, I don't, like, just say that lightly. Like, that's just always been. That's just always been. So, when I say defeated, especially just how everything was going, y'all, I'm like, oh, this is for me. This was handpicked for me. I'm like, wait a minute, God, what the? So, that really hurt. Like, that actually had me, like, questioning. Like, okay, am I good enough? Like, I done left my job thinking I got experience under my belt. Thinking I got, I done accumulated so many experiences and qualifications. I got a degree, like, am I not what I think I am? That one really hurt. And then, like, I had another one in my back pocket for, like, this hair care brand. And she had me freaking um, do a content experiment and everything. So I done made content. I done came up with something so clever. Um, and I submitted it. Her response was, oh, my God, I absolutely love this. And I absolutely love your voice. I can listen to you talk all day. I get the same response. We went with somebody else. So two avenues that were very much aligned, right? Like, okay, it's hair. But the way that their social was, was definitely the environment I wanted to be in. Very up-to-date, modern with the trends, you know, like a lot of them for creativity. Another note. So yeah, I'm at this point, I'm like, oh, I'm obviously not what I think I am. Like, and then I'm just frustrated because it's just like, I get the interviews, y'all. Like I get interviews left and right. I'm over here making arrangements so that I can take an interview during my work time. Like, hey, sis, can you take your lunch at this time so I can do this interview? Or I got to ask the other interim caretaker for my niece, can you do this day for me so I can go to the interview? Like, I'm getting interviews. No one's picking me. So it's just like, I'm obviously not, I'm not competing. So, you know, my dad gives me that talk, like, First of all, we're not, that's not, we're not about to do that. We're not about to doubt ourselves. That's what we're not about to do. You know, he frames it as, that's not for you. That's not the one for you. What's for you is for you, and that's absolutely correct. But I really, really, and y'all, I'm going to just give y'all a forewarning. I definitely be at God, man. Like, I don't really spare him. I don't. He knows that about me. You know, I really was like, God, you like, why would you do that to me? You know how people like to like, <laughs> you know how people like to like address God like formally and like, God, I don't know what you're doing, but I'm confused. No, I'm very much like, why would you do that? Is this funny? <laughs> like, but he knows this about me, okay? So don't try this at home, okay? But. That's, that's who I am. I don't feel like there's a reason to come to God and like, uh, uh, I, he said come as you are. Like, I'm upset and you're going to know I'm upset. Yes, I'm your child. Like, you gonna do what you wanna do with me, what you wanna do with me, but you gonna hear me. You made me, you already know how I am. Like, that's my boyfriend, like, this ain't nothing new. Ask my parents, like, this ain't nothing new. That's who I am. So, that was, like, a stab for sure. Like, definitely had me, like, yo. But what it did was it had me pivot. I'm like, all right. I'm not, I don't have to just do social media. You know what I'm saying? And, like, from my previous experience, I know that the room for growth there is a little limiting as far as, like, how far you can go. You know, like, yeah, you might become, like, a director or whatever, but the work that you're doing is still, like, this is what you're doing. You know? If that makes sense. It's not, like, finance, where you start as an account manager, you might end up as a director, and what a director does is totally different and way more, you know what I'm saying? Like, the growth there is not as extravagant. Excuse me, extravagant, because... 
in my past role, I was a coordinator and had my partner was a manager, yet we have most of the same skill sets and we're doing the same thing. So title changes, but the work that you do is very similar. So I'm recognizing that and I'm like, okay. And like I went to school, y'all, so my actually like my first job is what brought me into social media. I I mean obviously I knew it was a job and I was excited that I was brought into that industry because I really do thrive in that industry I feel like because I went to school for PR and I told myself that I really don't want to do mundane PR work because PR work can be pretty mundane if you're not like in them top cities you know where the media is and there's a lot of opportunities to be on site and in the mix and everything and the resources are there like Florida is not the place for that maybe Miami at best but Florida does not speak to that Florida is healthcare it is IT it is finance you know so it did lead me to like okay Jay like okay so now I'm at a place where I'm like I'm open to learning new things like I'm truly open like I've been open but I'm open to trying new things and occupy new roles. It's like, cause social media, like I said, it can be kind of limited. I'm not, I'm not married to this. That's just what I've been looking for. That's what my skill set is. That's what my resume says. But like, I'm open. And so I've pivoted my job search since then. Um, and, you know, hoping for the best there. So yes, we're still in job hunting season. Honestly, I have something that I had an interview for today. I mean, this week it was yesterday and I feel I'm like it got me so excited like the pay is not necessarily exactly what I want but it will be so fulfilling it will give that perfect balance of getting back out in in society again because I have been working remote and I've been looking for remote but I've changed my mind on that too I'm like I'm open like because I am a social person and I know that some of that is needed for me, you know, to grow and just get out of the house at this point. Cause I'm in the house watching my niece. I'm in the house. I'm in the house. Unless I got a date with my friends to go turn up. You know? And then, um, I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> that is funny. But okay, let's move on to another topic. Um, what else has been happening, y'all? It's been a lot. It's just been a lot. So when I say, okay, let's get to what I'm thinking for my channel because I kind of need help. But I don't know if y'all gonna understand where I'm even coming from when I say what I'm saying. So if you're close to me, you probably know this, right? Like I am very wise for my age and and very self-aware and i have to give that all to me studying my zodiac so i swear like it helps me understand why i respond to things the way that i do why i put emphasis on things that i do you know and i told y'all that in the beginning some things with my capricorn moon and with my cancer rising with my taurus sun like that is real i'm telling you um, and I've been really inspired by a YouTuber, um, and she goes by Pretty Boy XO, but she also has this visual diary, um, XO Michaela. And I am so in love with her visual diary, y'all. It's so raw and real, and it's such a conversation. It's just very much like this is what I'm thinking today or this is the vibe I'm giving today like sometimes there's not a lot of talking involved you just looking at her day but it's so healing I don't know like she's definitely someone that's spiritually awoken or awakened so what her day looks like is definitely a vibe it has its own aesthetic right like you just have to check her out. I'm going to put her on the screen. I've been trying to tell everybody to check her out because I just love her content. But I really resonate with it. And like, she speaks to someone that I used to know as far as myself. 
like I used to really and I still do but like y'all I used to journal so much and I used to like be so self-aware and like like that's still the case y'all but it's just like that was more something I identified with I've kind of like dropped that these days like people in my inner circle know and I I share what I can and I speak to them in this way but I really want to find a way to share that on my channel because I really like that type of content like the title even is not even how to da 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 or vlog da 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 no it's like I don't know how to explain it but just a little like less traditional is how I kind of want to I want to integrate that into my channel. I don't want it to be the whole thing, but I do want to integrate it. And so a thought that came to me was when I was dealing with some emotions and something came to me and I was just like, you really have to think of life as like a movie. Um, and then there's like, or like a show. And then there's like different episodes and like seasons to it, right? So I'm in season 25 episode. I don't know if I'm supposed to count my birth month or the month after. I count the month after, so we're going to do that. So, I'm in season 25, episode 3. And with that, I was like, that's how I should do my freaking vlogs. And I was like, I should do them as a vlog dump. And not so much like, come with me and see what I was doing. Because based on where I am in life right now, that's not really feasible and then it's just way more like raw and I cut and that's kind of really where I want to get to I still want to do my fashion content I still want to have like original content in that way I know that y'all really like like my like what I got for a hundred dollar videos like I really want to bring those back but it just has not been feasible and it's so freaking annoying but I'm not gonna go there so there's certain things that I'm gonna keep because I'm still the egg gal, don't get it twisted like, but there's just diff like there's multiple parts to me that I feel like I could share and it doesn't have to stay hidden. Um, I'm not Michaela, so I'm not trying to duplicate, but I am inspired because I know that I have a lot of those same qualities in me. So I don't know how I can like impart my wisdom and like get in like my self-awareness and like use my self-awareness to kind of like inspire other people i'm not really sure yet but i know that i do want to come on here and show up on here a little more raw and uncut and my thought there is the seasons and vlog dumps so you'll be seeing some of those i've been working on them they're going to just be compilations of like the past few months and because i have been filming um, especially when I got my camera back. I just really haven't been posting because I'm doing a lot of imposter syndrome and all the things because of all the reasons we already talked about. So, I'm still thinking through how to do some of the things, but I know that I want to do vlog dumps and I want this to be a little more raw. And in those, we might have conversations like this because I'm just going to pick up the camera when I feel it. Not just, okay, I'm doing something this weekend, tune in. No. That don't resonate with me no more. It, like, when I get to a certain level, okay. But honestly, I, I feel this way more heavy. Like, it's just, like, it's a vibe. Y'all will see. I'm going to try really hard to make it a vibe and get y'all to really tune in and like it. And I think maybe in those is where I impart wisdom and, like, use my self-awareness to be inspirational because I will pick up the camera when I feel the need to share, you know? Not sure, but that's what I'm kind of thinking. But I know this video is really long, but I mean, it's kind of due, right? Like, this is like hella videos that should have been posted in one as far as timeline. So I hope that this is a great start to being more of on the tip of what I just talked about of just being more raw and uncut 
I'm not trying to like just pour out my heart to y'all. You know what I'm saying? But I want to talk about things that we probably all deal with. You know, like feelings. Feelings that we all feel. You know? That's the goal. The goal is to be an influence, not an influencer. Bye bye. <laughs> what the? <p> <laughs> You see the battle between influencer and an influence. Like, girl, cut the shit. Cut the cameras. Like, what? No. <laughs>